Hello, Collective. This is Renee, and welcome back. The energy, especially after this 8 8 portal, the energy is tremendous. And I feel a shift <laughs> when it comes to the, the divine masculine. There's a shift. And I feel like feminines if you're a divine feminine you feel the shift as well because it's just it's just different as a divine feminine it's peaceful it's content it's being all right with everything you know even if the divine masculine doesn't come back at all you'll be fine because i feel like there's just a contentment in the energy and it's it's really nice the shift has made it so i feel like the divine feminine is more occupied with making her own life fulfilling whether the divine masculine is part of that life or not i believe it's totally up to them now, as far as the divine masculine, I feel like the shift that they're going through is he's finally aware of everything. Everything has totally hit him like a lightning bolt. And so many realizations, so many ways that he's lived his life in a way that could have been better right and i feel like the divine masculine now sees things for exactly what they are you know he can no longer sugar sugarcoat things he can no longer hide behind those masks or um rose tinted glasses right he can't sugarcoat his life anymore and I feel like it's making him aware of everything. It's making him more aware of his connections. And I feel like he's really searching for peace in a world that has been so dramatic for a long time, right? And I feel like no matter what he can do, he's not finding that peace. So it's making him kind of recall, you know, when he felt the most at peace. And Divine Feminine, I feel like this masculine is seeing things that he's seeing times when he felt most at peace, when he felt most wanted and loved, when he felt at his best, you know, even when he wasn't at his best, when he felt most at his best was when he was around you, when he was near your energy. And I feel like he's coming into that realization that you are the one that can tame the beast, you know? And he's kind of feeling that now. So this masculine, where he used to be just totally focused on money, material things, having what he wants at the moment, this masculine is now obsessing over having exactly what he feels he deserves in love and he's looking for that unconditional love that you showed him and he's kind of obsessing about situations with you he's taking himself back to memories being very nostalgic at the moment and just replaying everything in his mind. And as he's replaying everything in his mind, I think, 
um, I feel like he like starts almost to mourn your connection. And this masculine may even weep or he may even, you know, mourn to the point of breaking down because he finally understands. He finally sees it. It's like a remote control that was finally turned on, you know, that click. There it is, you know. And I feel like he's totally open his his heart space his heart space is totally open and he's fully aware that you are his soulmate he's finally realizing that for the very first time and he's kind of going through the motions but he's not able to make any progress at the moment because everything is just so overwhelming at all of the emotions that are rushing in. And if, if, if you think about it, I mean, he, he's been at this point where he was bubbling up with emotion for so long, but he was trying to push it down. He was trying to keep it under control. Well, he's no longer able to keep it under control. He's no longer able to do whatever it is that he used to so this masculine is really being pushed to tears right everything is so overwhelming everything just burns or cuts like a knife and he's finally realizing that you're the one and he's coming to grips with the fact that he lost the most precious thing in his life by being stubborn and being too prideful. And don't get me wrong, you are the most special thing in his life. Even though there's other things that may have gotten his attention, even though he ghosted you, even though he has even ignored you at times i feel like he misses you like no one else at one point he was just focused on his career focused on money and now he's thinking back and he's so sorry for the way he acted he's very heartbroken by his <sighs> by his behavior and he feels like he should have spoiled you and kept you in his life while he could but he was unclear he was totally unclear as to how he could do it all you know I, I feel like this masculine he's trying very hard to make amends with all of the people in his life and if this masculine is attached to another connection or a third party, I feel like he's finally coming to the third party and he's letting them know that he's moving on, that he can no longer stay in that place. He can no longer live the lie. So I believe that this masculine is making plans to leave. and. He's really making, he's making two sets of plans. He's making plans to leave, but he's also making plans to make amends. And you're very high on that list, but Divine Feminine, although you're very high on that list, I believe he's going to save you for last, you know? And that's hard to understand, but in a way, it should be easy to understand because he's saving the best for last. Does that make sense? That's what I have for you. And I hope this message helps. Many blessings, love and light.